Hi, so we're going to go ahead and look at signing up for a Canvas course. So there are two ways of doing this. One is for a person who doesn't have a um, an account and they're uh, self-enrolling into the course. And the other one is for somebody who does have an account and they're self-enrolling into the course. Uh, if, you're, uh, if your school um, uh, enrolls you automatically, then you should just be able to log in and you should see it in the course list. Okay, so here is for somebody who doesn't have an account as in creating their own account. Now we're using the free for teacher version. In general, this is the only place that you would do this because otherwise you would have an account created for you. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna go need a Canvas account. Click on that, click I'm a student. Okay, and you should have been given a join code. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and put in our, our name here. Okay. Okay, so here we are. We want our full name to be first name, space, last name. Uh, if you have, you know, if your last if your last name is like multiple words, I would not put any spaces in your last name because this the space and then the last name that's how you're going to be alphabetized in your student in your teacher's view in their grade book. So that's how I would write your name. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and click start learning. Whoops, and click and start learning. Okay, so we log in and there's my class immediately right here. Okay, so that is, and I'm basically signed up for that class. Okay, there's my courses. Um, okay, let's take a look at the second way to do this. Um, so that's that's the first way and that's me creating, um, creating uh, a login at the same time I'm logging into the course. Okay, let's go ahead and drop this course. You, well, sorry, if you're following along, don't drop the course, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the course so that we can I can show the second way that this would happen. Okay, if I go ahead and drop this course, basically I'm still gonna be logged in. Um, I'm gonna need to go to all courses there. Okay, notice that, uh, um, notice it's still showing up even though I dropped it, which is okay. If I'd have to log out and log back in in order to see it again in order for it to show as not having dropped. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and do it the other way. Okay, the other way um, that, that you can uh, sign up for a course is basically by going to the URL that's been, uh, that's going to be supplied by your teacher. Okay, and it's gonna look something like this. It's gonna have the Canvas URL, forward slash enroll, and then the same exact code. Okay, so how you would do this is you'd be already logged into Canvas, okay? in maybe one tab, and then you would go to the URL in the other tab, and then all you have to do is click Enroll in Course. Okay, and it's just as simple as that. Okay, so once we have our course, we're inside, and we have logged into our account for the first time, there's something you need to do immediately, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover that now. Um, and basically, you need to go into your account and immediately go to your um, uh, settings. And what you need to do is go ahead and set your email address right here, okay? So very first thing, go in and set your email address, all right? Um, okay, once we've set our email address, um, and I'm gonna click I want to log into Canvas using this email address, um, basically that's it. Okay, so we click register email, and we go okay, thanks. Um, and so the reason why that's really important is that in order to get back into your account, say you lose your password or something, if there's no email address set up, you won't be able to recover your account. So that's very, very important. Okay, uh, so that is how we get a course. We self-register for a course uh, given that we have a code or a URL. All right, best of luck.